guys, it's Win and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been missing for quite a while now and I said I was going to post every two weeks but I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, I have no excuse for that and uh, let's just put it this way, I was busy with life. Life got in the way. No, maybe I was just lazy. I don't know. But yeah, I'm back with another video so I hope this will, you know, make up for my uh, absence for the past two weeks. Uh, yeah, today's video is going to be on this look. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. This is how I apply my makeup every day. Every day that if I'm going out live, I'm not going out what for. But like every day when I'm going out, this is what I do. I don't use my brushes. I mean, I use my brushes to put, apply eyeshadow and stuff. But most of it, you know, I'll just use my hands because these babies, these babies are, you know, God's gift to us and why waste them? So I um, apply everything with my hands uh, because it is easy. It's easy and fast and it gets the job done. Uh, so yeah, today's gonna be the reality version of how I apply my makeup, not the expectation version, okay? So it's an like expectation versus reality kind of thing. Yeah, this is reality. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop babbling. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please, uh, it's gonna be, I think, I think I might do a voiceover for this one, so um, yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video like it share it do whatever you feel that you know You feel like doing but you know try try to share it really it will really help me like it It will really really make me happy. So yeah, let's just get on with the video Ah, <sighs> Now that's more like it so okay, first step is to moisturize your skin because we do not want to work with a dry skin. So massage that moisturizer in very well. Next, apply primer to your skin because you do not want your makeup to be slipping and sliding throughout the day. Now I'm applying my foundation and yes, I will be using my phalanges to spread this all over my face. While waiting for that foundation to set, we are going to apply eyeshadow primer all over our eyelids to prevent creasing so that we don't look like a confused homeless person at the end of the day. Now apply a nude eyeshadow all over your lids. I am using this color right here and this is just going to help even out any discoloration that you might have on your eyelids. Now with your eyeliner, just create a wing line across your eyelids to add some drama to your eye look. I like my eyeliner super black, I am going over that line I created with another eye pencil to darken up the line as well as fill in any sparse areas in between my eyelashes. To make your eyes appear bigger and wider, apply a nude eyeliner in the inner corners of your eyes and then just blending it in with your baby finger. Now that we have that sticky base to work with, we're going to apply some shimmer shimmer to the inner corners of your eyes to make them appear brighter. Applying a darker brown eyeshadow on the outer lower lash line adds definition to your whole eye look. The goal here is to curl your lashes really, really well to the point that you can actually put out a fire just by batting your eyelashes in front of a burning building. 
If you are emotionally unstable like me, then a waterproof mascara is the way to go because not only will you be able to walk in the rain and listen to your sad and sappy playlist, you can also expect your curls to last a lot longer. As for your eyebrows, just use your eyebrow pencil to fill them in and try to make them look as even as possible. If you go overboard, just just brush them out. Should be okay. I fell in love again with my Illuminator from Cover FX in sunlight because not only does this give you the perfect amount of radiance, but it also makes you look super dewy without making you look like a disco ball, if that makes any sense. I don't like to apply a loose or a finishing powder to set my makeup. I prefer using a highlight powder like this to highlight as well as set the high points of my base and then going in with a blush to add a pop of color to the cheek. is completely optional because I do have those days where I'm just like yeah I'm gonna rock my chapped lips um, but today is not the day because I decided to go for a coral natural lip color just to add a pop of color to my whole look done this is how I anti chat fire my face every day it takes me less than 10 minutes to do my whole face because like I said earlier this is a reality slash off-screen version of how I apply my makeup every day until next time happy New Year's and see you all again next year bye